Hello and welcome to HP Calx, everybody. I'm Rick, and today we're going to have a quick look at how to find roots or radicals on the Google Calculator. So, as always, we get started by searching the word calculator. It should pop up there. We can select it, hit enter, and that takes us to this page here with the Google Calculator. All right, so for the basics, if we just want to square root a number, like say square root of 25, we can just click on the root symbol and then enter 25 and press equals and it'll give us the answer. So square root of 25 equals 5. Now if you want to do any other root, like these ones here, what we want to do is press this INV key here. This will change our keypad and you can see we now have a X root Y here at the bottom right. So if you wanted to find the cube root of 8, for example, you first press 8, then the INV key here, and then this key down here at the bottom, this X root Y. There we go. We get this, and we see a little box here. That's where we enter the root. So for this example, we'll use 3 and press equals. And we can see the cube root, or third root, of 8 is equal to 2. We can also do fraction roots like this. So to get started, again, we press the 2. We're doing this 1 third root 2. And then the i and v, and then this y root x, gives us that box there. And then we want to use brackets to go 1 divided by 3. Close our bracket. This is equal to the 1 over 3. And then we can press equals. And we can see we get one third root of two is equal to eight. And this makes sense because we know one third root of two is the same as raising two to the third power. You can also use keyboard commands to do these. And the hotkey for roots is R. So for example, if we want to do this fourth root of 16, you can just type in 16 on your keyboard, and then I'm going to press R here. You can see that brought up the root symbol there. And then I'm going to press 4, and that gives me the 4th root of 16 equals 2. Finally, you can also enter these roots in your search bar. So, for example, if you wanted to do square root 25, you could just type in SQRT25, hit enter, and you can see it solves this for us. Square root of 25 is equal to 5. Or if we wanted to do, say, the fourth root of 16 up here, all we have to do is type 4th root of 16. Search that, and we can see it solves that one for us as well. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.